when we look at yoga for us the highest of yoga the epitome the highest level of yoga is what we call in hindi anand in english i would call it blissfulness or joyfulness that's the highest level of attainment through yoga now in order to do that in order to reach this highest state or attainment of yoga what is really needed is yoga of the mind do you understand what is yoga of the mind are you practicing that yoga well not really yoga of the mind is when your mind is very stable when your thoughts are very balanced see in yoga you're trying to balance the body make the connection of the body with the cosmos the tadasana but yoga of the mind if you do not exercise that if you do not cultivate yoga of the mind which is are your thoughts in balance concurrent are your thoughts very pure purified thoughts are your thoughts very random do you have control over the mind the way you're trying to control the body is your mind in control when you see something there is a certain perception comes to you most of the time when we are trying to see something we are actually not seeing what is out there we are actually seeing what is in here you are seeing the reflection you are seeing the reflection of your own mind's perception in that person in that event in that situation you not really able to see the situation person or the event in its reality and that's what we call the yoga of the mind and this yoga so for an example the yoga of the body which we call asana you do for how what one hour every day let's say about one hour every day now similarly yoga of the mind how many minutes every day are you practicing that very very important whenever you are because even sitting here there must be thoughts going on in your head right are they in your control are they balanced are they purified and that's a practice that you do throughout your waking hours that's the real deep practice of yoga of the mind and then comes the third layer which is yoga of the character are you building a yogic character is your character very value driven or you succumb to the temptations too soon if there is no strength in the character the way you are trying to build strength in the body flexibility in the body do you have strength of the character no matter what is offered to you if you have a strength of the character then you will only pick that what you want and you will not get attracted to things that are not good for you and it needs strength of the character when you have strength of the character you're not influenced very easily because the whole world out there is trying to influence you in one way or the other only if you have strength of the character which is a yogic strength of the character you'll be able to wade through all the complexities of life and if you see the world is becoming very very complex and this dimension of the yoga the strength of the character which is a value driven character if you don't practice that again 24 by 7 then you're not able to reach the final stage of yoga which we call blissfulness when i was talking about the mind you know one of the things i see in lot of people who practice yogic asana the bodies are very flexible they want to make their bodies very flexible but when it comes to the mind our minds are not flexible so the yoga of the mind is not happening is the mind flexible are you living your life with certain conditioned thoughts white is good black is bad let's say light is good darkness is bad these are all conditions are we flexible in our thoughts also are we building flexibility of the mind if we are not even uh, somebody like hitler had a very flexible and strong body though was this short heighted man but he was very strong and flexible because he only applied yoga or strength of the body there was no strength of the character or the mind what is the strength of the character when you are able to see everybody in an equal from a sense of equality from a sense of inclusion 
from a sense of opening arms and including everybody who comes to you. And that's the flexibility and strength of the character, the yogic character. If you're not developing that, then sorry, joyfulness will not happen. The blissfulness will not happen. You know, that's the ultimate attainment of yoga. And then comes yoga of the behavior into your daily practice. Is your behavior yogic? You know, I've seen people, if you serve them their favorite dish, they would tend to eat much more than their hunger is. Is the behavior also yogic? Is it a balanced behavior? No matter what is given to you. Or are you still looking at the world in terms of rights and wrongs, goods and bads, blacks and whites? Or are you also appreciating all the shades of grey in between? Because life is whole spectrum from the black to white. All shades of grey. In your behaviour, are you displaying that flexibility? In your behaviour, are you, are you displaying that openness? In your behaviour, are you displaying that oneness? In your behaviour, are you living that unity that yoga is really talking about? Because... If you don't do these four dimensions, then the ultimate blissfulness that we're talking about will not come. What was the point of having a very strong, stable, balanced body alone when the mind is not in your control? I see a lot of people around the world are becoming very prone to mental diseases. Depression has become a word which I think every child even now in India knows. When I was a young child, we didn't even hear the words like depression or stress. I'm sure my parents also did not hear these words. They are much recent inventions. And they are much recent inventions just because uh, we're not practicing the yoga of the body, or sorry, yoga of the mind, of the character and of the behavior. And if we don't do that, then as I said, you know, even uh, Hitler was very fine in body, strength, flexibility of the body, but he doesn't make him a yogi. <laughs> You've got to practice. So it not just doesn't make you a yogi, also doesn't make you a blissful being. He was a very, very horrible person. I mean, he, he could never sleep in the night because of the stress and the fear and the depression that he had. All the time stressed. And that you can only counter if you practice yoga of the mind, yoga of the character, and yoga of your behavior. So these are three more dimensions as, as yogis on the path. You must cultivate these three dimensions in your daily life. So what we feel here is um, yoga is not that you do one hour every day. Yoga is actually all your waking hours. And once you're able to do yoga throughout your waking hours, then even in your sleep the yoga happens because then you see very balanced dreams. You don't see the dreams where a tiger is running after you to kill you or a thief is snatching things from you. you know, these are very common common kind of dreams. Or this exam tomorrow you're not prepared or you're falling into something. Then you don't see these dreams. Your dreams are also very, very yogic. <laughs> very yogic dreams. Because essentially what we're trying to do is not fall under any kind of uh, propaganda. We want to accept the whole world, not reject anything out of it. The more you share, the more you learn. The more you cultivate, the more it grows. So it depends how much yoga of the mind, character and behavior you cultivate. The more you will cultivate, the more it will grow. Mm -hmm. And the more you will share, the more it will grow. So can you share love, embrace, compassion, joyfulness with whosoever you meet on the path? Can you be a little more nicer to the world? Can you be a little more kinder to the world around you? And the world does not only mean human beings. The world means the soil, the trees, the rivers. Can you be a little more self-conscious? Every time you make a choice of buying something, can you be a little more yogic? Of saying that, okay, I will not use so much of plastic, just for an example. These are all yogic behaviors. This is whole yogic character we are talking about. Can you be a little more yogic in your daily life? And if you can do that, then nobody can take the blissfulness away from you.